That'll do the trick. I should hurry back. So, Gerhard was in the Sturmabteilung the whole time. And I opened my heart and my home to him. I'm so sorry, Otto. He took advantage of your friendship. Ten years I've been a friend to him, only to be stabbed in the back like this. What a horrible world we live in. Listen, I hear police sirens. They must have seen the smoke rising. Clubs have gone now. What have you done to this man? Why is he tied up? Wait, officer. This man is responsible for the explosion, a murder, and a smuggling operation. He's a member of the Brown Shirts. I have his ID. Is that so? Show it to me. Have a look at this. Gerhard Wagner? The owner of the local bar? That's his cover, officer. He stabbed Father Lenz in cold blood and threatened to kill us. That's a hell of an accusation. Have you found the murder weapon? Yes. His dagger is engraved with the symbols of the brown shirts. You're accusing him of being involved in smuggling, too? He has trafficked goods and people across the border. I got caught up in his operation. Gerhardt lived in Argentina for several years. That's where he established contacts for cheap explosives and military equipment. He smuggled these from South America to Italy. And then his allies moved the goods from Italy to Germany. I see. These are serious accusations. What about the explosion? It was the contraband explosives, officer. Luckily, I managed to defuse another bomb in the cellar. That's where he killed Father Lenz, too. May he rest in peace. Poor Father Lenz. He was a kind man. But why did Gerhard do it? I believe he was trying to intimidate Otto to leave the hotel. So that he could keep the smuggling operation running. He faked his own disappearance to cover his tracks. I see. Father Lenz must have stumbled upon the truth, and that's when Gerhardt killed him. And then he got Otto and I in his sights. Anna wanted to call in the police, but I... Otto, please. We've gathered enough proof to bring Gerhardt to justice. 